Hello everyone. Today is Remembrance Day, and every Remembrance Day on the channel I pick a speech to read to you, and uh, generally this is a speech that has either personally moved me or has made me rethink uh, some, you know, conceptions that I may have about certain things. So today it is by Lieutenant General Michael J. Hood. The speech itself is called Freedom is Not Free, and the context to this speech is on Remembrance Day in 2015, the commander of the Royal Canadian Air Force, Lieutenant General Michael Hood, spoke at a Royal Canadian Air Force service held at the Mount Pleasant Cemetery in Toronto, in front of the mausoleum where Lieutenant Colonel William Barker a member of the RCAF and the most decorated war hero in Canadian history is interred. Among the assembled crowd were many school children, and here is what Lieutenant General Hood said. I have a daughter, not much older than you, and I know how important it is for you to be present at moments such as these, to experience the Remembrance Day ceremony and to be part of honouring those who have served our country, which leads me to a central question. Why are we here today? In a few minutes, it will be 11 o'clock, the exact moment that the guns fell silent in Europe in 1918. The First World War, the war to end all wars, was over. Four years of struggle, of death, of fear, and a bravery had ended. The Allied forces from Canada, Great Britain, the Commonwealth, the United States, and more had been victorious against the forces of Germany and her allies. The war's toll on humanity had been enormous, but it was finally over. The agreement ending the war was signed at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And ever since then, we have gathered at this time to remember those who served and those who fell during that terrible war. But it wasn't the war to end all wars. At 21 years later, the Second World War began. And from the fallout of the Second World War came the Cold War, the era of tense, armed peace between the free world and the Soviet Union. And sadly, Conflict in various areas of the globe continues to this very day. The Canadian Armed Forces were recently fighting in a war in Afghanistan, and we continue to be involved in other conflicts in the Middle East and around the world. Canadian heroes have fought, and continued to fight, to protect our rights and freedoms. What can we, as ordinary citizens, do? For today's sailors, soldiers, airmen, and airwomen, we need to support them, support their families, because we owe them a debt of gratitude for their service to this great country of ours. And we must remember the sacrifices of those who have served or continue to serve, and we must be grateful for the freedom we enjoy in part because, as the saying goes, freedom is not free. That's why we are here today, on November the 11th. But why are we here precisely, in Mount Pleasant Cemetery? As we honour more than 100,000 Canadians who have given their lives in the service of their country, and the thousands more who came home from war wounded in body and mind, we gather at this particular spot because of one person. Lieutenant Colonel William Barker, was a member of the Royal Canadian Air Force and flew the Sopwith Camel and Sopwith Snipe aircraft in combat against the enemy during the First World War. On October 27th, 1918, he found himself in a battle against a formation of 60 enemy aircraft. He was terribly wounded, but shot down several aircraft and broke up the formation before crash landing in friendly territory fainting from blood loss. It's no wonder he was called the deadliest air fighter that ever lived. 
For his action, Lieutenant Colonel Barker was awarded the Victoria Cross, which is Canada's highest award for bravery. He received eight other gallantry decorations, and a total of 12 for valour, and is the most highly decorated military member of any service in Canadian history and the, in the entire British Empire. Lieutenant Colonel Barker survived the war, and had a distinguished career in the peacetime Royal Canadian Air Force and in civilian aviation. He was even the first president of the Toronto Maple Leafs, but I suspect he may have been rolling over in his grave since 1967. When William Barker tragically died in 1930, his funeral was the largest in Toronto's history. He was buried here, in this mausoleum, but over the years, Canada's greatest airman was forgotten. Then, five years ago, a memorial to Lieutenant Colonel Barker, which I hope you can see on the steps here, was unveiled and plaque placed inside the mausoleum. Ever since then, an RCAF Remembrance Day ceremony has been held here to honour him, both as an individual and as a symbol of all those who have served in the Royal Canadian Air Force. Canadian men and women have continued to serve bravely and professionally in the Canadian Air Force since the days of the First World War. The RCAF has fought in times of war and guarded Canada in times of peace. During the Afghanistan War, Canadians flew dangerous missions, bringing personnel and supplies into Afghanistan and transporting Canadian and Allied soldiers inside the war zone. And at this very moment, the RCAF is serving in other dangerous regions around the world. At home, we guard and protect Canada and North America, and regularly save Canadians whose lives are in danger. We also regularly fly aid to people around the world who have experienced natural disasters such as hurricanes or earthquakes. And it's hazardous work, even in peacetime. Since the end of the Second World War, hundreds of airmen and airwomen have died in the service of their country. We are also here to remember all of them. In a few minutes, you will hear the last post played. The music that ends the day for those of us in the military. It will be followed by the two minutes of silence and then the ruse. The music that wakes us up after a long night's sleep. That will be followed by the piper's lament, a piece of music that honours and remembers the fallen. If you don't have a particular person to remember during the two minutes of silence, Perhaps you could think of the glorious freedoms we enjoy in Canada. Freedoms that many people around the world can only imagine. The most important thing is simply that we remember, today and every day, that we owe so much to those who were willing to sacrifice everything. We will remember them. <laughs>